Well, in the last month, we know of at least three drownings here in East Tennessee. And just yesterday, Knox County first responders recovered a man's body. Investigators saying 22 year old Joshua Fritz jumped off of a cliff into Melton Hill Lake and never resurfaced. Before that, early yesterday morning, a 13 year old girl died after accidentally drowning at Perry's Mill Dam. That's in Walland. And about two weeks ago, the Claiborne County Sheriff's Office shared that a five year old had drowned in Powell River. These tragedies sparking this question. What can we do to keep this from happening? WATE 6 on your side reporter Laura Holm joins us now and Laura, you spoke with first responders about this very thing. Yeah, that's exactly right. And something that may startle you. The CDC says three children die every day because of drowning and parents play a key role in protecting little ones. But there are things all of us need to keep in mind this summer. Come on, come on. The sun, the sand. Oh, it's beautiful today. It's why Audra Downs brought her boys to the cove at Concord. Even though they're good swimmers, Downs has them wear life jackets. I'm always a little on edge, um, but we try and teach water safety and get them in swim lessons so they know what to do in an emergency. We're just going to check and make sure this is tight enough. It's the same for the Ford family. Becky Ford says she keeps a close eye on her granddaughters and checks their life jackets. Because I have some who are a little more shy about the water, but I have one who will get right out there before I know it. And so especially with her, I like her to have something on. The sign at many area lakes says it all. Swim at your own risk. You need to look out for yourself. Uh, watch your children. Uh, watch other adults, uh, limit your co consumption of alcohol anytime you're around the water. First responders say drowning doesn't look like you'd expect. Most of the time they just slip under. Uh, a lot of times you will not see the struggle. They will just disappear under the water. But there are signs to look out for. Someone's head may be low in the water or their mouth is at water level. Their eyes may be glassy and unable to focus. You may see hyperventilating or gasping. Four to six minutes. You can drown very fast without oxygen. Uh, your brain starts to die. The Knox County Rescue Squad saying safety comes down to thinking, watching, and staying alert. Swimming, swimming. Look at you. Look at you. Come on. Now, seconds can save a life. The CDC suggesting parents, adults, and kids all learn how to do CPR as a way to prevent drowning. Ladies. All right, Laura, thank you. And you know, when it comes to backyard pool safety, the CDC stresses the importance of installing a four sided isolation fence with self closing and self latching gates. And this helps keep those kids away from the pool when they're not supposed to be swimming. Experts say you can still install alarms on the doors leading to the pool area, as well as keeping rescue equipment mm -hmm. close by just in case of an emergency. You can never.